my head down on my desk to help me get through this mess. I fell asleep, and before I was done, I woke up in shock. My whole arm was numb. I woke up in shock. My whole arm was numb. I woke up in shock. My whole arm was numb. I woke up in shock. I fell asleep on my arm. Hello and welcome. Today we've got ourselves another fantastic episode of Sir the Crappy A. Today's episode, we'll be talking about the Game Boy game, Solar Striker. Now, not many people have actually heard of this game. The game itself is actually a shoot 'em up Let's take a look at it and then I'll explain. It's kind of, if, if you're a fan of the Xevious games, uh, You'll definitely love this game, and I love Xevious, so definitely, if you uh, like Xevious, give this a try already. Uh, there's nothing, nothing should be stopping you from playing this if you like Xevious. Uh, as you can see, it's quite similar. There's just a different variety of enemies, and I actually prefer this game to Xevious. So you're going through, you get, you've got power-up pods, and if you shoot the power-up pods, they will level up your weapons. Although, after you get the first upgrade, it takes more than one power-up in order to upgrade your weapon. Later on in the game, it gets a lot more difficult. As you see here, uh, we're, we're on like the fourth or fifth level or something, and, and the game is just get, starting to get ridiculous. There's shit coming at me from all different angles, uh, different waves of enemies, different types of enemies, a lot of variety, which is a, which is a really good thing. Uh, when it comes to shoot 'em ups. The first boss has a little trick. You can just, uh, if you can dodge the bullets and make your way up into the top corner here, you can just sit it out and the boss will actually get bored and just leave. Most of the bosses are actually like this. Uh, if you get to the bosses, if you can find a spot to hide in or you just dodge their bullets, most of the bosses will actually just get fed up with you and leave. Uh, it's kind of strange, I've never actually seen this before in, in a shoot 'em up. But, but uh, I guess if you're playing for points, it's not a good idea to let it pass. This last level, you have to actually fight all the bosses in a row before making it to the final boss. So it's really fun. The bosses in this game are awesome. I love the bosses. They're probably the funnest part about this game, is fighting all the different unique bosses. And uh, each one is completely different. So yeah, as, as you see, this is a great shoot 'em up game. Uh, one of the best shoot 'em ups I've ever played. So, give this one a try if you like shoot 'em ups. Uh, if not, uh, give it a try anyways. It's a great, fantastic game. There's no faults really, other than sometimes it can get a little too difficult in the later levels if you do not have the full power ups. So there you have it, Solar Striker, one of the greatest uh, classic Game Boy games ever and probably the greatest shoot 'em up on the Game Boy. So if you just have an original Game Boy, definitely pick this up. If you have a Game Boy Advance, pick this up. Game Boy Color, pick this up. This game is great. You can find it on eBay. I found it for dirt cheap. Uh, not very expensive at all. I think it was about $3, and it, it's a good time. So there you have it, Solar Striker on the original Game Boy, and this has been Sir Le Crappier.